Hello, people. Welcome back to something that's Fallout related. We're back in uh, our home in Novak, and uh, well, there we go. The newest DLC, Old World Blues. You've gotten a fragmented signal on your Pip Boy, a coded transmission of some sort with a sad, jazzy undercurrent that makes your head hurt. As far as you can tell, it appears to be an invitation to a midnight science fiction feature at the Mojave Drive-In. Please arrive early to catch the trailers. Okay, Old World Blues has been loaded, and your level cap has been raised by five. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, so just, uh, just, um, in this first off little video, uh, here, I'm gonna just tell you what happened, because obviously we're not back where we were when the last video ended, which was in Stonebones Cave, if I'm not mistaken. I spared you guys all the trouble of watching me go back and forth and back and forth, lugging stuff around. Uh, and eventually I did. I lugged all the stuff back here, put the things, items, in uh, where they're supposed to be. My suitcase of unique weapons. This is the ammo and stuff. And this is the all the weapons that we got are now transported in here. Uh, the clothes and such are in the wardrobe and dresser that I just went to. Um, so right now we are naked. We have, uh, no weapons and nothing on us. And we're sitting at a healthy 25 weight units. So, um, I don't know. What we're gonna do now is, uh, we're gonna come and we're gonna take some stuff out of here. Yep, this is all the weapons I've collected over the time playing, and I just put them here. And, uh, yeah. We're gonna be... doing something. Getting that out, because I need to repair that, and then I'm gonna sell it. This is why, um... This is why... my perk, jury rigging. I think that's why, I to me, that's why it's I use it at all, because it, it devastatingly destroys, I ran out of word to talk about there, but it just destroys the cap of vendors, because you can find yourself repairing the most useless crap and using that to repair the most awesome thing ever. Uh, so, yeah. Um, anyway, I got the varmint rifles here, I'm gonna repair the trail carbon and brush gun, you guys are gonna be like, whoa, what? You can't do that. And, uh, guess what? Yes, I can. So, yeah. And now these are worth so much caps that it's crazy. So that's why I do that. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys how I make my caps. So much caps everywhere. It is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, we've got Joshua Graham's armor here. And the stuff and other stuff. I'm actually going to use Joshua Graham's armor. Because it's very weight to DT good this thing yes that's yeah and uh desert ranger combat helmet sure i'll wear that so let's see there we go that's what we're gonna look like uh as you can see i got the other crap in here um yeah so, we're going to be starting on Old World Blues now. <laughs> uh, if, I'm so sorry to those of you who uh, have been waiting so long to see Dead Money. But, uh, <laughs> uh, I, 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 let me just give you a little bit of backstory here. Um, I, uh, now that Old World Blues has come out, uh, before it came out, I heard all this, spec all this new stuff about it, you know, uh, Christine, or what? Someone who was going to be in uh, Dead Money is going to be also in uh, featured in Old World Blues. So I thought, okay, so probably I should do um, Dead Money before I do Old World Blues, right? Um, and uh, the answer is that uh, you don't really. That's not really. Yeah, you don't really have to do that because she just appears, voice only, and uh, it doesn't really make much of an appearance otherwise so yeah and that's great that means I can do this which is newer and arguably more people are gonna wanna see this because it's newer 
Um, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, so that's why I am gonna do this one first. Again, I'm sorry if you wanted to see Dead Money. Don't worry, I will get onto that. Uh, yeah. Just sometime. The other, the next, the next, uh, DLC, whatchamacallit, Lonesome World, that has not had any, uh, any thingy, any, oh, what am I trying to say here? Any dates, release dates on it yet. So, I'm, a, I'm hoping that it takes a bit <laughs> to get, um, released so I have some time to finish all the DLCs and everything and whatnot. So, yeah. Hopefully, that happens. Uh, where are my weapon repair kits? Weapon repair kits? No! What? what? the hell? Yeah, I put the scripture in here with all my money and stuff. Could it be in here? Uh, whatever, I don't really need it. Whatever, I'll just find some on the way. We're good to go, pretty much. With our jerry rigging perk, we can just pick some rocks and sticks off the ground and probably repair like the frickin' machine gun of doomsday falloutness. That's not a real weapon. I, I just wanted to say something badass sounding. Anyway, um, we have to apparently go to the Mojave Drive In, which I don't know if I've discovered or not. And, uh, we're gonna go see a movie, apparently. And I am all for seeing the movies. Because the movies are good. I like to travel light. You see, I only got one weapon, which is light shining and darkness, which I really like. It's a nice pistol. And, uh, that stuff. So where, where are we going? Mojave Drive-In. No, I have not discovered it. But we can fast travel to Nipton. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. And yes, we only took, uh, you can bring stuff along on this one, but I don't, I still don't want to bring a lot of stuff, because, uh, I don't know, I like to use stuff that's already there. I don't want to bring, like, a freaking mini nuke launcher and make the whole DLC redonkulously easy. So that wouldn't be fun. Oh shit, how many of these things are there? See, this pistol's pretty cool. Uh, it's one hitting these guys. If my aim was a little better. Uh, I would have totally one hit everything. It's been a while since I've been in Nipton. The strange, creepy music is still here. Oh well. Oh man, we have such a back load of uh, normal quests that advance the actual storyline that uh, we're going to be quite busy by the time we're finished DLC City here. Um, we're gonna have, yeah, I'm not like, I'm maybe halfway through, so there we go, Mojave Drive-In. Uh, what the fuck? That thing's moving. Uh, is this normal? It's like a satellite. Uh, it is a satellite thing. Can I interact with it? Activate crash satellite. Nothing happened since the night showing that... Oh. Midnight showing! You weren't kidding about that, were you? What's the time now? 9 a.m. That's great. Let's wait... I can't do my math. 14 hours. Hmm. Well, I, I'm liking these DLCs. I've heard some good things about this one. So I'm looking forward to it too. We're half an hour. It's an eye. That was on the thing. Look, Joshua Graham lives, the burn man walks. Right there. We've already finished that. Ha ha! The clues. Alright, anyway. They said be early, so I'm half an hour early. We should be good. Crash Light seems to be real to be source of the strange transmission you received. The old world blues is recommended for experienced courials. The 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 courier couriers oh fifteen plus you have a premonition that while you're unable to re you'll be unable to return to the Mojave until you solve the mysteries of the Big Empty you will be allowed to take anything you carry with you and you will be able to return to the Big Empty any time after completing Old World Blues that's cool that's just like honest hearts then 
If you are up to the challenge and you'll have all you want to carry with you, uh, examine this island a little bit closer and the atomic wonders of science await. Oh boy. Uh, I think we're about ready, so let's take a closer look at the satellite. Ah, what's going on? We were digitized, I think, maybe. She's gonna shut up for the cutscene, as usual. In the years before the Great War, Big Mountain had been the home to the brightest minds of the 21st century. Scientists of vision were drawn to the facility to tackle the greatest technological challenges of the era. They sought to create a new world, fueled by technology for the benefit of all mankind. Sonic emitters, space-age alloys, DNA hybridization, force field particle research, autodoc advances in cranial, cardiac, and trauma surgery. The hopes and dreams of a century became realities in the electronic forges of Big Mountain. The nucleus of this research was the dome. A huge stone facility that held the labs of every science known to man. It was a think tank where no problem could not be solved, where no question could not be answered. The Great War brought a new energy to Big Mountain and its scientists. Although sheltered from the front lines, the scientists waged their own war, fighting their battles at the atomic level. Equations and calculations marched endlessly across chalkboards and computer terminals toward one solution, winning the war. For years, the minds and computers of Big Mountain were a blaze of trajectories, weapon schematics, and nuclear theories. The problems began to outpace the solutions, first geometrically, then exponentially. As the war escalated, so did the questions. On the night of October 23rd, 2077, the scientists received an answer that put all their questions to rest. In the aftermath, Big Mountain's silent experiments went to sleep, their creators slowly dying in the new world that had been left behind. And the great stone in the middle of the Big Empty lay untouched, filled with countless technological wonders. Wonders that, in the end, had been answers to the wrong question. Well, all right. That was a hilarious accent. In the world between worlds, there is the big empty. And something like that. It's funny. It's funny. Uh... And I guess October 23rd, 2077 was when the war happened. I don't really pay attention to much to dates. So, I learned something new today. Yay! You feel strangely heavier. Quick inspection of your body reveals faint surgical scars around your head, chest, and back. Oh no. Unconsensual surgery. What is this? That's bad medical practice. Oh, is this a force field? It is a force field. I recognize this force field from Fallout 3. Just reusing stuff, huh? What the? Oh, hey, we have our helmet still. And we still have the armor. Why am I wearing 